I hope I made- I hope I explained that decently well enough and I hope I made my point understandable because man that is not any- that is- I- I've struggled to make that- I- I- I've like been trying to make that point um actually make sense for a while and it's not really easy but I don't know if you but I don't know if, if you if you guys have any questions about it please please uh, let me know and I'll try to elaborate further in the comments if I have to because yeah <laughs> But yeah, this is the second and the last uh, version uh, version of the um, enemy gauntlets. Uh, it's uh, the really none of the bosses in this game are that hard, so you won't probably won't have any trouble with these. Oh man. I also love just being the BOOM when you kill a bunch of enemies with it. Feels pretty good. Whoa, 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 Sonic, please. Um. Cool. Okay, don't use that. <laughs> Also, this is like the only game I'm aware of that Knuckles has some type of home attack because when you home attack, if you uh, let all the characters jump with speed formation, they will do a type of home attack too. So that's kind of cool. Also, a little funny, funny joke about Knuckles swearing. Yeah, I, d I never bother fighting these ga the these guys legitimately. Just too much of a hassle. Yeah, you can make Sonic do the light speed attack w when with a uh, Tails Thunder Shoot too. But it only works for Sonic. Uh, as you know, it's like the Knuckles. It just did a regular Thunder Shoot. So yeah, keep that in mind. Right, let's just get this. You're supposed to use the cannons to get that, but yeah, that's just that's faster. So yeah. That was great. Okay, I'm not gonna use. I'm not gonna use the Sonic's light speed attack. Well, I'm, I'm just gonna thunder shoot it. Boom. Also, one thing I love is that the power formation level 3 gets like a... The, the ground attack gets more and more... The, well, the ground attack gets more and more powerful the more levels you get. So, like, uh, on level 0, you you just do a, a two-hit combo. On level 1, you get a ground pound move, or a slam, or whatever you want to call it. And the, se the second variant is, like it, like, it has, like, a fire effect. And then the third one, you just... Get a bunch of fireballs flying out, so I, I like I, I like that. It's it's it's, it's fun. <laughs> and uh, I don't know this this game kind of um, in terms of the main series, it's they they re it's like the get the only the first game where they really where they tr gave tried giving the characters some interesting powers, if you will. Where or elemental powers, where Sonic, for instance, has wind element, like a wind element, if you will, with the tornado, uh, and you know stuff like that. And um, Knuckles has some 
t t type of fire stuff going on, and with Tails, um, well, every flying character. Oh, I thought I teamed last. Oh, this is bad. Um, you know, screw this. Ah! That was okay. <laughs> But like, yeah, and and Tails and every other flying character, by extension, has a um, electric element with the thunder shoot stuff, and um, I don't know. Uh, it, it, I think it's kind of cool. Well, I mean, Sonic also had like Sonic Wind in SA two, so. Well, we also like f fell off a cliff, but fell off the platform earlier, like a dance. So you know. Yeah! Now this level, and the level after, is amazing. Like, there's a massive sense of scale. Um, like, you thought the egg carrier was, was, was big. This, like, that has nothing on all, all on the, uh, Eggman, um, was it, the, the egg flight. <laughs> it, like, I don't know, I just, I just love the sense of scale, um, the level design is really, is really fun, like, I, I like the feeling of, like, traveling through this airship armada, like, it feels really epic, like, I don't really like using that word that much, but it, it, it's the best way to describe it, really, it's just, the feeling of just traveling this airship armada, like, trying to take it down, and track down Eggman, and it's, and it, there's always, like, it's really, it has some of the most tricky, yet satisfying level design in the game, because, you know, it's the last two major levels, and, um, the difficulty is, like, really ramped up at this point, so you have to be careful, but, it's also just, really fun and satisfying to play too, and the, mu the music helps quite a bit too, and also we have our last enemy variant, the shield guys, which I think, these are like E9000 I think, um, because uh, Omega uh, says something like that, um, so yeah, they, they have their shield up um, occasionally, and they have this massive laser move that they do, so... And then you have these sequences with the cannon shooting at you. These aren't too bad. Just they're, they're pretty self-explanatory. But yeah, this is definitely. If I were to choose the levels to be in generations, this would be one of my perks. Like the, we don't really. S I mean. I should clarify, we ha we don't really see this much in 3D Sonic, we, we, we see, oh, okay, <laughs> we see this stuff, like, quite a lot with 2D stuff, with 2D Sonic, um, but, as far as, like, 3D Sonic goes, I can't really think of another game that has this kind of thing, because I know, I know the Egg Fleet comes back in Shadow, but, um, you don't actually platform on the Egg Fleet, um, so... Yeah, I don't know. I, I think this is a really fun level. And it really makes it, it really feels like you're coming to the end of the story. And you can, again, speedrun truck, you can just ignore the enemy and just jump up like that.
Yeah! And stuff like that is pretty hype. Alright, uh, do that to get some more distance. Yeah, I like- so you can use the, um, tornado to get some, uh... What was it? You can use the, um, tornado to get a bit more height, and also use it as, like, kind of a makeshift double jump. Like, like just to correct yourself a little bit. It can be helpful if you need it. But yeah, going back to the whole like flow thing, I, I just don't, I, I just don't agree that um, okay, um, Sonic games need to go by the same type of philosophy every time. Uh, like this game, I honestly thought there was a rail gun. I thought honestly thought there was gonna be a rail there. I forgot that I had to use the light speed dash. That was my bad. Um, but yeah, I. The, the game games don't always have to be like stupidly fast all the time like people seem to have this mentality that they want Sonic games to just be nothing but unleash daytime levels um uh, where you uh, uh, in like and like boost to win in a in, like a literal sense where you just press the boost button you just kind of watch Sonic go really fast and you don't really have to do much platforming or anything I just don't agree to that kind of mentality because the whole the whole appeal to Sonic in the first place is that you have the ability to go fast and learning level design and all that good stuff is what makes you able to like get faster and faster and speed through the game and whatnot. It, it, it doesn't feel rewarding when it's just given to you on a silver platter with no with no effort being needed from the player to get to that and I don't know, and for me, Heroes gives me that satisfaction in spades, personally. Like, again, there's a lot of speed tech you can do to to speed the process up. Uh, I like just the general feel, like, mechanics and controls of the game, as, a won as a wonky as they can be sometimes. Um, and, yeah, I don't know. I Sonic is a platformer first, and a... And a Far, it's like a speed run kind of game second, I guess. I could have worded that better, but you get the point. Um, you okay? You okay? Alright, and again, ignoring... Okay. Let's not die, let's, let's not die, please. Let's ignore this once more time, once more. Okay, this is, um, uh, there we go, level finish, and this is the only stage with a unique ending pose. Hey Sonic, how long, how long are we going to be floating like this? Eh, yeah, just keep it going, I, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Nice. Even after a death, I still go on A rank. That's pretty cool. But now we're going to the final stage of the game. Well, not the game. Well, the final. Well, it kind of is because we're gonna. But we're gonna be seeing this three more times. But yes. Oh yeah, this this is I love this level. This is one of my favorite final levels in the series, bar none. It has a perfect atmosphere. Level the level design is a uh, pretty linear, but I think it works. It, it I think it works for uh, for like the final gauntlet of challenges for you to overcome. And oh man, the music is just perfect for this for uh, for this kind of level for this kind of level like the, the whole like lightning like and the fact that it's night outside and you're up really high like, and you're and it's um 
you're basically like you're, you're still in on the egg flight and and this is one of those instances of uh, using the uh, the uh, light the um, the um that that's one of those instances of using the rocket excel to skip a section so yeah But um, yeah, this is this is a really cool final level. The atmosphere is perfect. The music's amazing. Level the level design is fun and get engaging, and it keeps you on your toes. It oh that was close. Um, it's nice and challenging for a final level, and it just has this climactic feeling, like it's just the right amount of di of uh, of. Uh, Difficult of difficulty, and um, every this is basically everything I'm asking out of a final level in a game, really. Like, it, it, it comes everything comes together perfectly, and it feels like the finale. And yeah. <laughs> I don't really have much else to add, add to it to that though. Like, it's basic. It, it just, it's it's just really good. <laughs> and there's also, also why Eggman Land is one of my favorite final levels. Like this, the three favorite, my three favorite final levels would probably be uh, this Eggman Land and Death Egg from Sonic, uh, Sonic and Knuckles, um, or Sonic Three and Knuckles, wherever you want to call it um because they all all have a sense of finality the music's perfect um the difficulty is just right even eggman land yes i know it's difficult but it, ch it a final level should test your skills and i don't think and i don't like minus issues with like the um was it the engine engine not engine ring this is not banjo kazooie um issue issues with the um thing um forgot what it was um the pipe room aside um you don't really have many instances of the game having like surprise deaths or what what have you um that i mean i guess to be fair the the um the quick time events are pretty quick. They come by pretty far, pretty fast. So I'll give you that one. But at the same time, you do have a little bit of a buffer. And um, I don't know. All three of them, again, all three of them just give me everything I'm asking out of a final level. That's pretty much it. Alright, let's just team blast it. Alright. Nah, that's not that's too far away. I was gonna say be like, I wonder if I can rocket excel jump over there. Nah, it's too far. I think I think you can um What should we call it? Oh yeah, we have to. Yeah, I th I think you there is a shortcut, um, where you can get get past this sec. Just skip this section, but I don't remember how. how I don't. Oh no 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 no. Um, it was where the that um one flag w flag. Uh, it was w where that um. Thingy was go the uh. The, the one uh, Paul was going to go. At least I think it was. I, I don't remember f for sure, but whatever. I remember there being a shortcut at least. Oh, whatever. Okay, I'm going to have to go down here to get the key.
Oh, okay. It always feels really ris risky getting that rainbow ring because it just feels awkward. And skip two of these sections. And do this. <laughs> and if I'm fast enough, come on, Sonic. Sonic, stop making this awkward. Okay, never mind. Okay. Yeah, this ain't the greatest with level one power, but I'll make this work somehow. Okay, screw up. <laughs> ah. Nice. Okay, I want to let this go. Yeah, if you rush into it, you're, you're going to miss this dialogue. Yeah. Well, careful here. And th this last bit is just round roll grinding, so. I can't hear you, Knuckles, over all the lasers. But yeah, that's the end of the level. I always thought you had to use flying to avoid the last laser there, but if you're just fast enough, you can just avoid it. <laughs> but yeah, that's Final Fortress. Really fun little final level, in my opinion. Indeed. Huzzah. Not gonna bother with that, so. And now for the final special stage. Uh, we're missing two, but we'll try to get those in the other playthroughs. Because uh, the teams like uh, share at the emerald, so if you miss one for one team, you can just get them with the others for another one. So it doesn't—it's not big of that big of a deal. Bam, bam. I oh, I haven't mentioned this yet, but I love the emerald challenge theme. It's so good. <laughs> no. Mm. Doo -doo. Ah, oh, man. Right, come on, let's go. Gotcha. And now we just have one more boss to go. Oh, sure. I like how the subtitles are wrong there. Hey guys, 
Yeah, this is the final boss for each uh, team playthrough. Uh, and basically, what you want to do is get make sure you get that flight the uh, level two flying, and then once you and then once you get here, just all you really have to do is just do this, and uh, again, use the control stick so you can like make it so the characters uh, aim for. The, the cockpit more. Uh, don't die, please. But yeah, just keep doing this. There are a bunch of stuff ch being shot at you, so it can be a little bit messy, but it's really not that hard. Just be... Okay, okay, okay. I don't want to say that and then immediately die, please. Yeah, it gets a little bit hairy uh, with all the stuff aim being aimed at you, but it's not that bad. And he dies really fast. Like, just look at this. His health is just... Dying. <laughs> I love that. He always does that whenever I fight face him. Just I will go down that easy. Defeated? Impossible? No. It's just like wow, man. Yeah, that boss is pathetic. It's really the the enemies around you that are more the the issue. Yep. I never finished that with speed or power because it's just a lot more awkward with them. So, yeah, if you do what I did, you'll, you'll be in fast enough for him to just not be able to go to the next uh, running section, if you will. Oh. Uh. <laughs> oh no, the cannons are aiming for us. But yeah, uh, that's Team Sonic for you. Um, I'm gonna be saving final thoughts for later because again we have three other teams to go, and like I said before, we're gonna be having guests. So um, yeah, Team Dog is next. And I believe that's going to be Ma Maddie and Jason, so hope you guys look forward to that. Um, but like in terms of just Team Sonic itself, um, again, it's kind of fun. That it's a simple story. Um, just Eggman doing bad things, stop him. <laughs> um, it's like the cl it's again like the classics where they they can afford to just. Uh, go from level to level and just have crazy level motifs without having to worry about having to worry about it like fit with the story and stuff like that and the bosses aren't the greatest but yeah I can love but into um this this theme though th this we can this has grown on me a lot over the years. I actually really like it now. Uh, I, I mean, I, I liked it back then too. The, I always, I did say in the Sea Spring run, I remember, like I feel like Sonic should have a harder sounding song. I kind of stand by that, but th that's the thing though. This is like a team song. This isn't based on one specific character. So as for, for like Team Sonic, I think this fits per this fits perfectly fine, so you know opinions can change or evolve more so in this case. But either way, it's a good theme. I like it. It's very um uh motivating, I guess. It's a very feel good kind of song. It makes you feel good about yourself. And being with friends and stuff like that. It's emotionally resonating.
Okay, that's basically what, all I have to say. So I'm just gonna let, I'm just letting the credits roll at this point. And yeah. Team Sonic is complete. And that went by pretty well, I think. It's, I'm pretty happy. That's For being away from doing solo LPs for so long, I'm actually very happy with how that turned out. So, yeah, um, that's going to be it for me for now. And I'll see you guys for Team Dark with probably Maddie and Jason. I'm going to have to check the uh, list to be sure. But um, whatever, whatever the case may be, I'll see, I'll see you guys for when we start Team Dark with the first two guests. So, hope you guys look forward to that. And I'll see you guys then. So, peace out.